A 9-2 in the team competition. The exercise is actually lacking a big release move, but she does nice giant swings and good position here on the pike double back, and of course she knows how to land them. And she comes up with a 9.50 for a total of 56.75. Joyce Wilborn from Patterson, New Jersey. Station with our current leader, Vera Kolesnikova, who says her idol is her teammate, Natalia Yurchenko. And you know, interestingly enough, she had to beat her idol, Yurchenko, to get to this round of competition. So first major release move, a reverse hex. Second reverse hex, she catches in mixed grip and drops right to the low bar. She's moving quite well. This is actually her weakest event. Full and a half twist. This very may well be the key to her winning this competition because this is her weakest. Double twisting flyaway. Good performance. Well, she had a 9-7 on this event in the team competition. She has to be pleased with the performance here because she doesn't want to give much ground to Shushinova. Now here's that first reverse heck. Now watch as she sets up for the second reverse heck. Strong through the bottom. She catches with her grip crossed so she can turn and drop right to the low bar. And a good score for Kolesnikova, a 9.8. That gives her a total of 68.65. She has to be happy with that right now. Hope Spivey from Allentown, Pennsylvania, working the vault. This is her first vault. Now, this is a determined young gymnast. She's got a lot of spunk, as you said, Bart. It's a Sukahar with a full twist. She gets a lot of distance from the horse. Now, if she could just stick the landing. Actually, the vault wasn't that high, but as you mentioned, look at that face. She <laughs> is fierce. She has good push, but more than anything, she has tremendous distance from the horse. That'll help her score. A 9.60 for her first vault. She had a 9.5 yesterday. Here's Jennifer Say. She's also from Allentown, Pennsylvania, working the uneven bar. She had a 9.4 on this apparatus yesterday. Here comes her first release move by Jaeger. It's a little bit of a weak connection there. Stalled her to handstand. She's a little bit straighter line in the handstands. Really mark those positions. Giant swing, the dismount, a stalled her front with a half. Jennifer Say, representing the United States, working the uneven bars. She doesn't look like she's too happy. Well, it, it wasn't a great routine, but there were no major mistakes. As you mentioned, Kathy, she does have a little problem here. For instance, she needs to be a little straighter at the top, but this is a very tough dismount from a stalder. She does a tucked front with a half twist. And she winds up with a score of 9.4 for a total of 66. By the way, Spivey's score on the vault was a 9.6. Yelena Shusanova, we've seen her on the beam in the floor. She's in second place right now, battling for the lead. Now, I know her confidence is down just a little bit, but this is a great event for her to pick back up. Round off vault, lay out Sukahar full twist. Oh, that was beautiful. Her first vault. Now, as I said earlier, with a round off vault, it's much easier to generate more speed and power onto the horse. Here she approaches the board, puts her hands down before the vaulting board, does a round off, and then into the vault. And a 9-9-0 for her first vault. She had a 9-9-5 on the vault, vault yesterday. Her second vault coming up. Now watch the speed and power. And she is so strong in the upper body. It's a round off, she goes back hard. Beautiful vault, absolutely perfect. And the crowd loves it. You're looking right now again at Oksana Omelianchik working on the floor. She had a 9-9 in the team competition. This is one of my favorite routines of the entire competition. Love the music, don't you? She looks like she's having a good time. Opening line. Full in piked and she tumbles out of it. 16 years of age, just 73 pounds. Look at the facial expression. Really looks like she's having a good time out there. Middle tumbling pass. Double twist, punch front. 
she's gonna tumble out of it and a full and a half twisting dive roll. That is so difficult. I don't know if you notice in the background, the perfect 10 for Shushanova's vault. Definitely was a great vault. She just never loses touch with her audience. Always smiling. It's her last tumbling run. And a double pike tumbles out of it. Great exercise. <laughs> Beautiful performance. I tell you what, if that's not a 10, I don't know what is. <laughs> Omelianchik, now let's look at the 10 that Shushanova got on the vault just moments ago. Look at her face. She has good push here, but most importantly, look at the block off the horse. That sets her up for the perfect landing. Second 10 of the competition for her. She had one yesterday in the team competition on the uneven bars. Elena Shushanova. And now, Oksana Omelianchik awaits her score very anxiously. And let's watch part of her routine again. Watch this middle run. We're going to be seeing a lot more of this. She tumbles in one direction, a double twist, punch front. Now she's going to come back in the same direction. Another complete tumbling run. Half twisting mounter, round off, full and a half twisting dive roll. Tell you what, you got to be in shape to do this floor routine. She had a 9 9 in that routine in the team Ray competition. Boy, she's very tense right now, isn't she? She's awaiting her score. 16 years of age. The judges, <laughs> they're having to reach out. I'll tell you what, I don't think I saw any deductions in there. Although it's hard being a judge on this side of the... There's the score about to come up. Perfect tens for Oksana Omelianchik, and she matches Shushanova's 10 on the vault. So it's neck and neck as far as 10s are concerned, and the Soviets continue their battle with each other right now. And after three rotations, Kolesnikova is still our leader. Shushanova is in second place. Omelianchik third. Joyce Wilburn of the United States is 13th. And again, we see our current leader and about to work on the beam, Vera Kolesnikova. She had a 9-9 on this event yesterday. And if anyone can feel comfortable finishing up on balance beam, she can. This is her best event. Two back handsprings, layout step out. Solid. She's always in complete control on this event. She, she may not be the very best gymnast in this competition, but one thing she's not doing is making mistakes. I think that's a real key here, is that some of the top-notch performers have made major mistakes. She's very clean. I don't think that she does a very great beam routine because she doesn't have very much difficulty in the exercise compared to Omelianchek or Shushanova, but she won't give you any deductions. And she has a lead that's going to be hard to overcome right now unless she makes a major mistake. And you know she's got to be thinking that right now. No mistakes. Nice high scale. Here comes the hardest part of her exercise. She dismounts with a triple twist. Oh, and a little bit off to the side. That hop's going to count her, cost her. Vera Kolesnikova on the balance beam. She is the current leader, though. Now, as you watch in slow motion, the twist is fine, but she's off in direction, so she hops off to the side. It's not a spectacular routine, but there were no real deductions. And the score, a 9-9-0. So she's finished for the day with a total of 78.55. That's her final score. As we look at Yelena Shushanova once again, getting ready to work the bar. She has a score of 68.5, and a perfect 10 won't allow her to take the lead away from Kolesnikova. Even so, she really wants to do well here on this last event. I mean, she's basically handed the title to Kolesnikova today. 
so strong on this event. That was a reverse hect. Now into a ginger. She swings the bars just like the men do on high bar. Free hip to handstand. Giant swing. And a half in, half out. That's a full twisting double back dismount. No one does it better in the world. And she had a perfect 10 on the bars yesterday in the team competition. And Kathy, speaking of doing it like the men do on high bar, she has perfect position here. And that's a tough dismount because she's not as high as a man would be coming off a high bar, and yet she makes it easily. What's even more amazing is the girl that never misses has missed twice in this competition. She finishes with a 9-9-0 and a final score of 78.40. She's in second place as we watch Lu Fang of China on the vault, her the, first vault. The Chinese have really improved on this event. You know what amazes me is that she is so little, but she's able to generate so much power. This vault was actually invented by the Soviet team, but I think it plays into the hands of the Chinese very well because they never used to be that great on vaulting. But you can see there, she gets tremendous height, good distance, and perfect position. And a score of 9.65 for the 15-year-old from China. Her second vault. Now watch, she has good speed, which is increased by the round off on. Oh, oh per perfect landing. That's a great fault. In fact, it's a little bit better than the first one because I think she gets better push off the horse right here, which sets her up and lets her drop right on top of the landing. 9.8 for Lu Fang on the vault. Our next young lady we've seen before, Oksana Omelianchik, she's in third place, and she'll be there because of the lock by Kolesnikova on first and Chushinova on second. She also performs the round off vault to attack Sue Kahar with a full twist. It's not quite as good a vault as we just saw. In fact, I think the score for Liu Fang's vault was actually too low. She only got a 9-8. It should have been at least a 9-9. You can see the difference here. Omeli Anchuk does it very well, but her knees are tucked and a little separated, and she doesn't stick the landing. And her score for her first vault, a 9.75. You know, an important point to make, as you said, there's no way Omin Leonchek can move up, but there's a different motivation here. You want to hit, when you've come back from making a mistake, you've got to finish strong for yourself. And another Tuxukahar, it's about the same as the last one. Her first score, 9.75. Omin Leonchek will be holding down third place watch the end of her vault. This looks actually a little bit cleaner. Her legs are closer together. She takes just a little hop on the landing. I think the vault was a little better, Kathy. So her second vault score, a 9.85. They'll take the higher of the two, and she finishes with a 78.10, and in third place. 13-year-old Gabriela Potorek of Romania. She's in fourth place right now, more than a point behind Omelianchik. It's a very difficult mount she performed. A round off onto the board, lay out, step out, up to the beam. She doesn't sh quite finish all the moves. As you saw those split jumps, they weren't completely split. It's a little bit choppy. Back handspring, lay out, step out. Of course, she has a long line of great Romanian gymnasts to follow in the tradition of people like Nadia Comaneci and Ekaterina Zabo, who were also excellent on the balance beam. Is there handstand pirouettes? Whoa. Almost lost it there. She doesn't quite have the elegance that we saw with the Soviets. But she's young. Back pike, solid landing. She is doing a lot of difficulty, so that's nice to see. Even though the routine is a little choppy. Preparing for the dismount. Round off back handspring, double back dismount. Oh, <laughs> Stuck tough. it cold. Gabriela Potorek of Romania. 